Hello and thank you for tuning into this episode of Animals and Ames. Uh, my name is Ron Edwards. I'm the Animal Control Supervisor here for the Ames Animal Shelter and Animal Control Program. Um, as you can see today, we're back in our uh, cat get acquainted room. Um, all of the animals from our hoarding case um, have been adopted out with the exception of the two remaining chinchillas. Uh, so you can take a look at our website or call the shelter for information about them if you're interested in adopting some chinchillas. Uh, we're looking for someone that has some prior experience with these particular types of animals. Um, and then we will have all of the animals that have been um, rehomed to appropriate homes where they're going to be cared for. So really ap appreciate all the support, the donations, um, and helping us get through that difficult time here at the Ames Animal Shelter. So today our first guest is Polly. Polly is a female guinea pig. She is about six months old. Um, she hasn't had a whole lot of handling, so she's a little bit more on the shy side. As you can see, she's just kind of content just being there and uh, acting like she's not even doing much. Um, but she is a, definitely a beautiful guinea pig, this tricolor here. So she's got black and white and that beautiful tan. Uh, but a very special little girl here. These uh, guinea pigs are very special creatures and do require very special care. So we want to make sure that uh, our uh, potential adopters check out the guineapigmanual.com. Um, it's a great website um, for uh, looking at information on how to care for these animals, the appropriate cages you can have them in, uh, the different type of uh, food that they're going to eat, and fresh water, and so much more important information. Things you can do to make their cages interactive um, so they have uh, fun and their playtime and all of that. Uh, but most importantly, information about how to take care of them properly, make sure that they're kept clean and everything. So uh, Polly here is just one of five guinea pigs that were surrendered to us. And I want to take a moment here to talk about a lifetime commitment. You know, we talk about lifetime commitment for cats and dogs all the time. Um, and it's an ongoing message here in the show. But what people don't often think about is these little creatures, they seem to be more disposable and you know you can just get rid of them or turn them over or hand them off to somebody that you've met on Facebook or Craigslist and it's really not a kind thing to do to these guys. They have, um, you know, they can suffer just as a dog or a cat can. Um, in some ways their dietary needs are so much more special than dogs and cats and making sure that they get the appropriate diet and um, area cleaned. A lot of times when we go in these cases of neglect, we see these animals in really poor conditions with their cages that are just filthy and dirty and um, something that you wouldn't want anything to live in. Um, so we often see that with these little guys. So it's really important that you're providing the appropriate environment for these little critters and making that lifetime commitment. You know, we're not talking about 15 to 20 years like a dog or a cat in some cases. Um, these guys don't have a very long lifespan. So again, you can find all that information at guineapigmanual.com. Um, so the time that you do have them, it's important you commit to them. Another thing that I can't stress enough is to make sure, and that's why we have five of these now, is to make sure that they are sexed properly. So if you know if you really do have two females or two males or a male and female. That was the case here. The person who got them thought they had two females and actually one of them was a boy. And well, now we have a lot of babies. Um, so it's really important that they're sexed um, properly. Um, it's not as easy and as simple as a dog, um, but there's information that you can look at online um, to determine what sex they are before you put a male and a female together because we don't need an excess number of guinea pigs. They are the cutest things in the world, but we don't need a whole lot of them running around. Um, here we have Dandelion, who is also six months old, uh, just like Polly. Um, we also have Bluebell, Blossom, and Flora, who are three months old. Uh, this is an appropriate size and setup for, the for two guinea pigs as long as it's clean daily. Um, you wouldn't want to have any more than two in this environment. These pigs require lots of green leafy vegetables, timothy hay, and a small amount of appropriate guinea pig pellets that provide them with extra vitamin C, which is so important to them and critical to um, their life. Um, so again, if you're interested in these guys, we do have five here at the Ames Animal Shelter. Come on down. We can have you fill out an online application. We only adopt them in pairs um, with five. That makes the numbering a little bit differently. 
If you have one at home and you're interested in adopting just a single to um, pair up with yours, of course, of the same sex, um, we'd be happy to consider that application. Otherwise, we do adopt them in pairs, and someone could potentially adopt three, and then the other uh, person adopt two, but we want to make sure that we have an approved application that they're going to provide the appropriate housing for them. Um, and with three guinea pigs, you're going to need a really good size uh, cage environment for them. So come on down and check out these little guys. And our next guest today is Sienna. Uh, Sienna is a transfer. She's part of our life-saving program to transfer animals here to the Ames Animal Shelter from other shelters where they have an abundance of animals coming in and not enough people to adopt them. Uh, very proud of our partnership with the Joplin Humane Society in Missouri. And uh, they're just a wonderful group of people. I have to say a special thank you to Kelly for all of her work in saving these wonderful creatures. Um, so Sienna is a, <laughs> we're calling her kind of a hound. Maybe there's some lab mix in there. Um, we also just think she might just be a Joplin special um, breed. Uh, she's just such a sweet dog. She is such a gentle nature dog. Um, the challenge with her, and we want to make sure that the adopter is absolutely committed to making sure that she is potty trained. Um, she is not, does not appear to be housebroken. So it's very important that the person that adopts her understands that um, it's going to be some work to get her potty trained. She's going to have some accidents in the house, but it's up to us to train her um, the appropriate place to go um, and you know how to warn us and let, let people know that she needs to go outside to go potty. So we want a lot of patience with her. She's a very shy dog, you know, yelling, screaming, spanking, none of that stuff is appropriate. Um, especially with a shy dog that's already kind of a little bit more on the shy side, a little bit more fearful. Um, she has uh, met uh, my dog here at the shelter and we did a dog introduction that went really well. Um, she plays really well, does play bows, um, and is just a very social dog with other dogs. Um, so if you have another dog at home um, and would be interested in a friend for Sienna, she might be a good match for you. But she is just a beautiful dog. Again, just really good natured, um, lots of energy. She's about a year and seven months, we understand. She is already spayed, fully vaccinated. She's tested negative for heartworms. Um, but she really has everything on board, so an adopter would not have to do anything with her except, of course, give her lots of love and training and making sure that to focus on that house training. Um, but she is just a really sweet girl, um, great personality, uh, doesn't, I haven't heard her bark once uh, since uh, she's been here. Uh, not saying that she won't, but in this environment she hasn't been barking at all. But just a very sweet young girl that needs a forever home that's going to give to her the time, commitment, and love that she needs and deserves. So if you are interested in this very special transfer program dog uh, from the Joplin Humane Society in Missouri, come on down. We'd love to introduce you to Sienna and see if she might be a good match for your family. And our final guest for today's show is Wiggins. Wiggins is this beautiful uh, gray tabby here. Uh, he's going to actually tell his story on the microphone. Uh, came into us as a stray on September 23rd. Um, he is a male uh, intact, so he has not been neutered yet. But we will make sure, of course, that he is neutered before he gets adopted. He does have all of his claws, and of course, we want to make sure that he keeps those for his entire life. Um, really important to us here at the Ames Animal Shelter. So he is about six months old is what we're estimating. Um, beautiful, beautiful eyes there. I don't know if you can see them close up on the camera there, but he's got some beautiful eyes. Um, just a very nice, actually gentle uh, kitty here for a six months old kitten. Um, he's actually pretty calm, although I did just wake him up out of a pretty nice sleep that he was in to take him on the show. So he probably wants to go curl back up in his cage and just finish taking his nap. But uh, he definitely is a sweet kitty. Um, He's had all uh, current vaccinations, uh, tested negative for feline leukemia and feline AIDS, um, also known as FIV. Uh, so he is ready to go, um, has his rabies shot. Um, 
Uh, again, all of his uh, vaccinations, deworming, flea treatment is ready to go. He really won't need anything from the adopter. Of course, just like I mentioned before, is lots of love, uh, making sure that they get annual vet visits, which are so important to these guys. Um, and of course, if you ever notice that there's anything a little bit off or they stop eating or maybe have some diarrhea, of course, that's the time to get them into the vet immediately. You don't want to wait for that annual exam for that. Um, but you want to make sure these kitties are given all the love and attention that they need and deserve. So if you are interested here in Wiggins, come on down to the Ames Animal Shelter. We'll let you spend some time with them and have you complete an adoption application first and uh, see if he might be a kitty that you can bring into your home. Well, that's our show for today. I want to thank everybody for watching and your commitment to help us help the homeless animals here in the city of Ames at the Ames Animal Shelter. Um, very exciting news in the very next, hopefully the next few weeks, we're going to be launching our online donation portal um, that will allow someone to donate to the shelter directly uh, by using a credit card um, over the web. Uh, so keep an eye on our Facebook page. We'll use that to launch that donation page and hopefully you'll consider making a donation. And we have so many um, just amazing supporters and donors to the shelter. And, um, you know, I, we constantly are trying to help the animals that come in here to the shelter. And it's so important that we have the resources to do that when they come in. We never know what's going to come across our door, or come through animal control, an animal that may need a special surgery. Um, any kind of special medical care, things like that. And we use that donation money to help those animals in need. So we really, really appreciate every single donation we get. And there's never a donation that's too small. If you can only afford $5 or a few dollars, um, that will help an animal in need. So greatly appreciate those donations. Keep an eye on our Facebook page for the launch of that donation uh, web portal. And uh, thank you for supporting everything that we do here at the Ames Animal Shelter.